What's up YouTube? Back with another video. Today I want to talk a little bit about this Tyree Nichols incident. We're starting to have some videos coming out of kind of what happened and so and I know there's a lot of you know a lot of things going on about this. If you haven't heard, he was a guy out in Memphis that got beaten, basically beaten to death by by some police. So but anyway, there was like, there was five, five cops. They were all, you know, whether you, if this matters or not, they were black police and he was a black man. But so I don't know if that really matters or anything, but, but basically they, they pulled him over for something. They, they claim it was reckless driving, but Memphis has cameras like all over their cities. So they don't. So they can kind of go back and watch, and they haven't said that they have any evidence of him reckless driving, driving on the wrong side of the road, or anything like these, like these cops are claiming. But, and they haven't seen any. You know, they've gone through trying to get all the footage, and they haven't been able to find any. But all five of these cops have been arrested, so they're they've been fired and arrested. They're all facing second degree murder charges. And there's videos, you know, you can go out and see those. I'm not going to put them on my video. So if, if you're, if you're interested, they're starting to come out. So you can kind of get, get your own information and your own deal. I just wanted to come on and get my deal about it. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a sad deal. You know, I, my condolences to their families and to, to everybody. It's, it's a bad deal. And, you know, it's causing, you know, it could cause some more, like George Floyd type protests, you know, I, I don't, you know, it's hard to say once these videos start really coming out with how people are going to take it, but they're, some of them are calling it kind of, they're comparing it to the, to the Rodney King. If you remember any of that, it's, they just basically beat the guy to death. There was no firearms used. There was no, you know, they they did try to tase him and, and pepper spray him when they were trying to get him out of the car, and that didn't work. And he kind of ran off and kind of fighting him a little bit, ran off. But even with the fighting him off, I didn't really see any any reason for. I've seen a few of the videos, and I haven't really seen any you know any reason why that why they should have done that. But and there's no motive yet, you know, on why why they did it, why they. You know, other than, you know, like, why they were so aggressive. And they were aggressive with this guy right off the bat. I mean, you, you can see him trying to get the guy out of the car, and he was just, what did I do wrong? I didn't do anything, you know, and like they do. I mean, I'm not saying he's perfect. I'm not saying he was totally innocent because I don't know what, I don't know what was done or what was said or what. But the only thing I can personally think of is maybe they had some kind of a vendetta against this guy some kind of a personal vendetta against him like he he did something to them and personally and then they're just kind of and then they were and that's just my take that's just my opinion I don't know but I think maybe they just had something some kind of vendetta against him and that was their chance to to settle a, some kind of a some kind of a deal but like I said they don't no videos have come out on on any kind of motive why they got so aggressive with this guy so quick but another question is why i mean should all five of these cops be liable because they weren't all on the videos you could see they weren't all like beating him hitting him punching him kicking him they weren't all doing that So that kind of leads the question as to should they all be liable? But in Memphis and a lot of other places, they do have a just a duty to to intervene and a duty to render aid and also a duty to report. And none of these five did that, and that's the problem. That's why they should all. That's why they're all facing second degree murder charges, is because none of them tried to stop it. Hey, he's had enough, or hey, what you know, none of them have have tried to do that so it's it's kind of like you know they should all be be liable because of that and a lot of this kind of stuff started with the george floyd thing and why these other 
you know, when he was sitting on the guy on George's throat, these other cops were just sitting there watching and they weren't trying to get him off, trying to say, okay, that's long enough. That so they so they made a big deal about that, like you know, you're supposed to intervene and you know, and and maybe not all precincts do that, but the one in Memphis they do, and they you know, so none of them did that. They all just either kind of assisted in some ways or another, or they were, they were beating on him. And you see, they were beating on him for a while. And it looked like, you know, some of the videos are kind of disturbing. If you have, you know, if you have a weak stomach or, you know, you're offended by things like that, it's kind of, it is kind of, there is some kind of disturbing videos that you're, you know, if you want to go and watch them, I'm not putting them up on here, but if you want to go watch them, you know, have at it and come up to your own kind of conclusions, do your own research on it. But I just wanted to kind of give, give my opinion. I think that it's, it's a bad deal. You know, not all cops are bad, but not all cops are good either. And like I said, I think this was something personal between them. That's just my opinion. And it could trigger some, like I said, some George Floyd type protests, you know, mostly peaceful protests so if you're out and about just be safe you know if you see anything see protesting rioting or whatever just stay safe try and avoid it if you can you know don't get don't get involved you know i mean it, yeah it's bad but you don't need to go rioting you don't need to go burning buildings down you don't need to go you know you don't need to involve yourself in that and if you see it don't go, don't be, don't be around it, you know, just keep yourself safe, but anyway, that's my take, just wanted to come on quick and, and just give you my, my quick take on it, and like I said, it's a bad deal, I could do more research and follow up, but I just think that there's, you know, gotta be careful, this world's not that great, it's, you know, even, even what you think are good guys, the cops are supposed to be there to help you. They're supposed to be there to protect and serve. And, you know, they're not, you know, not all of them do. You know, some of them take things personal. Some things take it to the extreme. They get too, you know, power hungry or whatever. Or, so they think they can, they think that they're above the law and they're not, you know, not all of them are that way, but there are some that are. But anyway, thanks for watching. If, if you're interested and you haven't already, please subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. If you have subscribed, thank you. You're the you're the life of this channel. I know I'm still small, but I'm growing, and I appreciate all of you. Love y'all. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be doing this. And there's a super thanks button down there if if you feel like it. If not, cool. Just the subscribe is is awesome. Appreciate y'all, and I will see you next time.